Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers. Today we have another challenge build from Blood Raven, and I am so excited about this one. After the absolute success of last time, building that logic bot that can track objects automatically, he gave me another logic-based challenge today. And I'm super excited for this. I decided to bring this one ahead a little bit in the uh, list of builds that are on the table because I love the logic build ones. Don't get me wrong, the other ones excite me still, but this one, I just wanted to kind of keep the, keep the train going, if you know what I mean, while I'm in the logic mood. And then we'll get to destroying some stuff again. So today, I am tasked with building a plane, hence why I'm at the airport again. But this plane has an autopilot, logic-based flying. I'm going to make a plane that can fly itself with logic. Hopefully that turns out good. And speaking of challenge builds, if you are watching this right now and you have an idea and you want to see me build it, or at least try, you can go ahead and click the link in the description and that'll take you to my Discord. And there is the easiest place to tell me about ideas you've come up with. And I will look at those, and I will choose if they are worthy or not. <laughs> so, we're at the airport. It's wide open, which might not be what we're looking for, but I'm going to start here. I'm going to want some stuff for this plane to try and avoid. There's not that much here. It's a great place for building an initial plane, but making that plane actually fly and avoid things, I'm going to need some stuff to avoid. Long. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> Why did I make it so long up front? I don't know. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. You don't know the way my brain works, and that's the way it should be. Why did I put these here? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, we need these. We need wings. Wings, please. You guys can all go away. I don't like you anymore. No. Now I need propulsion to go left and right. So I usually use mini thrusters, and we'll do them this way. Never mind, we'll do them this way, because that's where the connection point is. Uh, let's have them up a bit. We'll do two on each side. How about that? How about that? I don't want this thing to be completely worthless on the ground, so we'll have some wheels just to just to get it going. You know, all all good planes have wheels. Let's see about this. Uh-huh. Oh, no engine. Right, right, right. The first flight of the not-yet-automatic plane. Oh, look at that speed, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It actually got a lot more height than I thought it would. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. Now we just need... Oh, boy. Ah. Actually, you know, this thing isn't supposed to be engine-powered. It's supposed to be... Not enough space? What are you talking about, crazy? It's supposed to be jet powered because it's a plane. Now, that's not really gonna work. They're down low. I guess I'm gonna have to raise the wheels up. Pipes are a man's best friend. Let me tell you guys, when you're building stuff, you need to get yourself some pipes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, maybe one more. And hinges. <laughs> this is so wide! <laughs> oh no! What have I done? <laughs> It's okay. It's gonna be just fine. Hold on. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> uh, maybe that doesn't look too bad. Alright. And whoa. Okay. I don't want my upward propulsion to be on the same button as these. Now this is gonna be all automated at the end, so hold on a second. Okie dokie. Now we've got this. Oh, it's loud. And upward propulsion. Ouch. Very, uh, very tree. Okay, and I know this thing can't steer right now, but it's fine. Just baby steps, guys. And up, 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 up. Uh. It's, okay, okay. It's still very, very front heavy. As I always say, no problem can't be fixed by more dragon jets. You guys know this to be true. We'll just put a couple here. No one will ever know. Um... <laughs> uh, Okay, and okay, that seems like a good amount of thrust. All right, here we go. 
All right, here we go. Uh, first try, baby. And up into the sky. Look at that. Flying like a champion. Here's what needs to happen, okay? We need, whoopsie, we need my plane to come back. There you are. Ouch, get off my head. Get off my head! If I disable these as upward thrust, we're not going to be getting as much upward thrust. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright. So, I can control the plane now. It's perfectly fine. I can control the plane. But, I need the plane to control the plane. I need the plane to fly. So what I'm going to do now that I have a working plane is logic block. Alright, so this is where things get a little complicated and where there's going to be quite a lot of crashing into stuff I see in the future. So, we need to go right to this little section here. I think first off, we need a altitude sensor, angle sensor. Uh, altitude sensor wouldn't be bad. But what I'm looking for is an angle sensor. Because I want this thing to go up. Okay, here's the angle sensor. I want the angle to be... Wait. Why aren't you turning? Oh, it is turning. Okay. Um. About... There? Maybe? So this is going to tell it when to pull up. Okay? So if it's in this... Okay, if it's in this area, it's gonna pull up. Maybe make the width a little, not that much lower. If you are on, then you're going to turn on this, 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 and this. Also, um... Forward propulsion? What should that be on? Let's just try having it on the angle sensor. What could go wrong? Let's just to just to do a little bit of weight saving. I don't think we need eight jets. Let's find out. Oh. Oh. I forgot my thing is on a very large slant. <laughs> okay, hold on. Also, I don't quite want it to go. Ah, whatever. It's fine. I'll just have to jump in real quick. <laughs> and go. Go, 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 go. Oh, goodness. It's really trying to take off. Okay. Here's the, here's the lowdown. I'm a little bit of a fool. Um, I put the angle going the wrong way. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It is against the law. There we go. Okay, hold on. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, here's what's going on. This angle is way too high. It's way too high. It's going for way too long. You see, uh, we need it. No. Uh-uh. You need to be going like, ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? It stops way sooner. I don't want my forward propulsion to be on that. I want it to be on... A speed sensor. Sure. Just just to keep it from going way too fast. But it can go a little fast, you know? You know what I'm saying? What's the speed? Uh... I guess... Whoa! Uh... I don't know what the speed should be. But... Trigger below. Yes. That's what we want. So it's below that speed. And it will trigger those. <sighs> Where are you going? Uh, what? Okay. It's it's going. It's going. It's going better. But hold on. It's still too much of an angle, you see. It's going for too long still. It needs to just touch it. Just like boop, boop, boop. Whenever it goes down too low, we want it to just, you know. Let's have it go straight down the runway. Ha. Off we go. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Okay, maybe we need a little bit more of an angle. Oh, it's working. I'm doing nothing. I'm just controlling the camera. But it's staying up right now. That's not supposed to happen. It's 
because I have them all under the wings that I'm having all these issues. So what we're going to do is fix that issue. I want the wings to be underneath the thrusters. That's too many. I can't believe I said it, but it's true. Okay. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Yes. Yes. Why did you turn? It's okay. It's fine. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's maintaining its position. Nice. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It, it turned again. That's not good. So, I'm going to put the gyros on right now. This is working great. This is working really good. Trust me. So, what you're going to do, when the thing turns, you're going to make it stop turning. Okay? It's, it's as simple as that. I want you to be over here, correct? When it turns at all that direction, and you will do the same. <clears throat> you will do the same, sir. Put you over here. Nope, other way. And just like that. Okay, let's see if that works. Hopefully we get some angles in here. Oh, we are. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Here's the problem. I am an idiot. I did it the exact opposite. <laughs> I sat there thinking about that. No, no, no. I sat there thinking about it, and I got it wrong. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I need this one to trigger this one. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I want an angle here. I want a bit of an angle. Oh, it's working. It's working, it's stabilizing. Oh goodness. It's working. We're not gaining much altitude here. That's a bit of an issue. Hold it. Oh, we bounced. Look at that. So now, I want something that will make the jets pull up when there's something directly in front of it. Okay? So, say that mountain right there. I'm going to have it look at the mountain and say, uh-uh. I ain't touching that mountain. I'm going to fly over that mountain. Okay? You see? So what we need is one of these. A little distance sensor. And I want you to have the maximum distance you can. That's not very great. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Don't worry about it. And when it sees something, it's going to tell these guys, you need to get going up. Okay? You need to get going up and out the way. Alright? So when it sees the mountain, it's going to constantly put out a pulse, and it's going to fly straight up. This plane is too smart. It doesn't need it. Captain. That's actually really cool, seeing my creation fly on its own. Where'd it go? Wait, what? What happened? What's going on here? I need to get in the plane, please. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what it does when it sees the mountain. Will it even see the mountain? In time? See the mountain, please. See the mountain, please. I need one of you, hold on, down here, whoops, down here, ah, what was that sound? Don't do this to me, because it's going to start going as soon as it sees the ground. What if I put an altitude sensor, and it only starts going after it reaches, I can't do that. Why can't I connect a logic gate to a logic gate? I want to say only after 50 meters can this work. Let's let's forget about that for now because my problem is I'm not getting enough height. So I need to program this to have a little bit more of wiggle room. That's looking better. Kind of? It's a lot more jiggly. No, that's definitely better. It's gaining altitude this time. It's very wobbly. It's extremely wobbly. Oh, goodness me. Ugh, if only those distance sensors could be set to way more than that. It barely sees the mountain. It barely sees the mountain. That's insane. Ugh, it needs to see the mountain way sooner than that. Can I set them myself like five million? No. It just jumps down to 50. That's not fair. I want it to go very far. 
how am I supposed to do this if I can't go very far? It looks like we're not going to be able to have pulling up avoidance. But, do you think we could maybe squeeze by with just turning avoidance? When it sees something, it turns? Okay, so if this one sees something, it'll turn on this one. Distance goes high. And then we take another one, put it over here. If this one sees something, turn around. If this one sees something, it'll turn on this one. And, uh... You go big distance. I'm not really going to be able to test the object avoidance here. There's nothing to avoid. It's just mountains. Yeah, I saw both of them turn on. And it, it really doesn't have enough time to react. Okay, you know what needs to happen? It's time to take this bad boy to a little bit more of an enclosed area. Where's my mouse keep going? Why do you keep leaving me? Don't. This would be a good map to test things out on. But I'm also worried, just a tad, that if both of them see, they're both going to go and it's not going to turn at all. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay? I'm thinking... I'm thinking, instead of going to either one, like this one goes to that one, what if we make it so... They all go to one. So it always tries to avoid by going to the right. You see what I'm saying? It will always turn to the right instead of going both ways. I don't know if that's better or worse, but we're going to see what it does. Okay? Off we go. That didn't last very long. It couldn't even avoid this stupid little hill. The thing is, with only 50 meters at this speed that we're going, it doesn't have enough reaction time. What about one of these... Oh, What about one of these little platforms over here? We are going all out of control. <laughs> oh boy. Will it have the uh, awareness to avoid this tower? I mean, it didn't hit it. <laughs> but I think that's just from uh, sheer luck of the wobbles. I mean, hey, let's be honest here. It's a plane, and it's flying. It's flying itself, and it does avoid objects. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I think that's a mission successful. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed with how this turned out. I wish I could have done better. There were some things that I had in my mind, I was like, oh, that's gonna be really cool, and I just couldn't get them to work. But, in all honesty, this is a self-flying plane. And in theory, it has object avoidance. <laughs> it just doesn't really work very well. But it will make these things turn on. It will. It will. It does, in fact. Just not in time to avoid any crashes. But the thought is what counts, really. So, I think I'm a victor at the end of the day. <laughs> so, well, I'm going to uh, send this guy off into the wild boo yonder real quick. Over this way, buddy. It was nice knowing you, my friend. Please, please never come back. <laughs> that is actually really cool, seeing it fly off on its own. Not gonna lie, that's something special. <laughs> well, I think that's the end of this challenge build. Look at it go. I did make a self-flying plane. I feel pretty proud of myself. I just wish I could have done it a little bit better. So, I'm sorry if that's disappointing, but I will get to that other challenge build you had, which uh, sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Kind of setting up a little kind of mini game kind of thing. So that should be a lot of fun. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Trail Makers. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Trail Makers and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.